right, guys, so here we go again. We've got another performance upgrade uh, available for the Tesla. We've already had two uh, freebies, 5% import, uh, performance improvement updates each. This one, unfortunately, is uh, it's costing us, right? They do charge $2,000 for this upgrade, which, you know, it's a lot of money. Um, but they're also claiming half a second faster, zero to 60. Again, this is for the long range, all wheel drive, Model 3s only. Um, I don't think, uh, from what I've seen, it's not offered for the uh, Model 3 performance. It's not offered for the single motor, uh, older standard range uh, Model 3s either. So a bit of a bummer there too. Now, my plan today is to test this upgrade. I wanted to do a before and after. Unfortunately, this doesn't come as a normal download, uh, software download that we get with normal updates where you get the screen pop up uh, or on your app, it tells you there's an update available and you can download it now, later, cancel out of it, whatever. I was hoping to get that same type of update uh, run some numbers before and then do the update and again uh, run some numbers later uh, Performance numbers again using a draggy like I've, I've been doing I'll, I'll point to these other videos and stuff. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that um, That's what I hope to do, but this was like a stealth update. I purchased the upgrade and then wondered when how I was going to get it I had no idea and uh, started reading more online. People were getting the up upgrade and I'm responding to some uh, uh, to, to their remarks in um, YouTube and so forth. And people are saying they just had the update. It was there available. So I ended up, let me uh, get on my screen here and show you. what I'm talking about. Uh, so, you know, you go into software, uh, release notes here. It's standard. It, it says nothing about getting any kind of performance boost, right? But then you go into driving and the difference that you see is we used to have, or normally, you'd have chill and normal. Now you have chill and sport with the update. So what makes this odd, again, is that, you know, I sent them an email even saying, hey, I, I bought this update. Where is it? How do I know I got it? No response. Just one day I'm driving, and um, actually I had to make just a little maneuver, kind of get around somebody. And I got on the gas, the gas, I got on the pedal a little bit and the car took off and it felt different, but I'm going, ah, that's in my head. I just haven't gotten on it in a while. Get home, do some reading. And all of a sudden I look, go run out to my car and it's like, I've got the upgrade. Wow. So, uh, today I am going to then getting back to my point, I'm going to run this car a quarter mile probably just a couple times. If you watched my videos before, this car is extremely uh, repeatable, right? The performance numbers are, are unbelievably consistent. So you could run this thing five times and get very, very close to the same numbers. Zero to 60, uh, definitely quarter mile. Quarter mile are even more consistent than zero to 60, but they're also very close. Now, how I'm going to do my before and after test is I have two other videos, again, I'll put a link uh, down below, where I ran before and after the last 5% upgrade in performance. And then I have another video where I ran uh, state of charge versus performance. So I started at uh, basically 20 or so percent uh, state of charge. Ran quarter mile, 30%, quarter mile, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, just to see what the difference in performance was for each one of those states of charge. So I have a lot of data of running quarter mile and zero to 60 times. So what I did with those 
videos, the one, uh, the parameters I have the most data from is running this car at uh, the times that I ran it, it was anywhere from 37 to 45 degrees. Today, shockingly, it's my car says it's up to 57 degrees. This is Chicago, so you just don't know what you're going to get day to day. But I think we were in the teens this last week, a high of 19 or something one day. So surprising that we have that nice of weather. But anyway, I get off track quickly. Temperature is about the same. Um, obviously, I've had the HVAC system off. Uh, I did charge to 240 miles, just like I did uh the one time I ran before and after tests. So again, we're at 240. I'm going to go find uh, my favorite place and uh, run uh, quarter mile times again. So this is about as repeatable or before and after as we're going to get. Again, I've got, I think, maybe a total of four or five runs at these same parameters. Weather's a little bit warmer now. Um, but I'm charged to the same 240 miles, two or three runs using draggy. We'll see what we get. A uh, couple of other interesting things though. When the last performance update, 5% performance update, zero to 60 times were about 0.07 seconds faster before and after, right? So a little bit less than a 10th of a second faster. But the quarter mile time was 0.18 of a second faster. So does that mean that if we get half a second faster, zero to 60, like Tesla promises us, like Elon promised us, are we going to get more of a decrease in time? Are we going to drop seven tenths, eight tenths of a mile in the quarter mile? I don't know, that would be like crazy. Um, but we'll see, right? We'll see. Uh, another thing too, is I really, I was, I really wanted to run this car, uh, again, going back to one of my uh, other videos, states of charge, the higher your state of charge, the faster the car is, right? That's everybody has seen it. My video has shown it before. I really wanted to run this car with this new, uh, sport boost mode and see if I could get a hit a personal best but that wouldn't be a good before and after, right? Uh, I need to run today the car at the same uh, same parameters that I had for the for the old before uh, test. So uh, also, I think to get a personal best from what I've seen, I think the weather needs to be really warm. The warmer it is, the better. So I'm probably gonna maybe try a personal best uh, spring or summer again. Uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of fun to do. Oh, uh, it just, so everyone's aware, I, I showed the screen before, uh, especially after supercharging and, uh, it, it being 57 or so degrees, the battery is fully warmed up. So, uh, we've got that same also, uh, that I believe is it. So let's get to, uh, let's get to the racing and, uh, and see what, see what kind of times we can get. All right. See you soon. All right, guys, we are here, ready to make the first run. I do have to say, though, it is a little windier than I believe it's been before, but uh, let's get going with it, all right? Let's go. Okay, yeah, 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 this is faster. It's definitely faster. guys pass number two let's go Jesus yeah wow. all right guys let's try to wrap this up now or let me try to wrap this up now I'm sharing results that I have, and they're pretty exciting, but um, I don't know, we've got some things here to, to look at. So, again, I was at about 74% state of charge. It would have been great and fun to run, uh, try to run best of numbers for me, uh, personal best, 
but uh, this was all about trying to find a difference. So again, from what I talked about before, the prior runs that I have, 5% performance upgrade, uh, 0 to 60, 4.26, uh, 0 to 60 including rollout, 4 seconds flat, quarter mile, 12.36, and 114. Now, 2K boost, right? 0 to 60, 3.8 seconds now. A difference, minus pretty much half a second, right? Minus 0.46. 0 to 60 rollout, same thing, 0.42, a little bit less, but um, okay. Quarter mile, and we're going to talk about this later. Same difference, pretty much minus 0.42, so pretty close. Uh, another 1.4 miles an hour at the end of the quarter mile. So uh, this is real interesting that we get a half second faster, 0 to 60, almost, and pretty much that same 0.42 uh, seconds faster at the end of the quarter mile. Uh, by the way, here are the uh, draggy results um, for you non-believers out there. Uh, I ran the car twice. You could see that the difference in numbers were so, as usual, so minuscule that uh, it, it wasn't worth running more times. So now, uh, it, anyway, let me let me move on. Let me uh, do some extrapolation here for fun, just because we were uh, I was only at a seventy four percent state of charge. So what would have happened if I had run the car with more state of charge? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, you're missing out on this awesome uh, chart, all this data that I built up before. I ran my car before at different states of charge, 20% to 100% quarter mile times, and graphed them all out real nice here, 0 to 60 times, etc. And it showed your quarter mile times get better with higher state of charge. Your mile an hour goes up, uh, 0 to 60, you know, etc., etc. Okay, so... Let's extrapolate some of these numbers. Now, again, I was about 74% state of charge and you know ran around 1195. If I had a higher state of charge, uh, following the uh, laws of uh, quarter mile time versus state of charge, I would have potentially run an 1178 at about 117.57 miles an hour, right? I mean, that would have been fantastic. And we'll see, I'll, I'll do this again in uh, the spring or summertime. Also, uh, 0 to 60 times, you know, I was running a, about a 380, uh, 359 with a rollout. This could go all the way down to a 369, three and a half with a rollout, right? I mean, that's, um, these are, these are incredible times. But, um, here is something that, um, that I thought, my thoughts here, let me go to my thoughts. What we have with this performance boost is not the same thing that we had with the 5% power increase. And let me try to explain this the best that I can. So before and after the 5% performance increase, these are the times, 0 to 60 uh, quarter mile times, right? What was the difference here? With a power increase, 0 to 60, in this case, uh, seven one hundredth point oh seven seconds faster. Because it's a horsepower increase the whole time, you're accelerating faster and faster. You have more power for the whole quarter mile. So you don't just end the quarter mile at point oh seven seconds faster. And that's what it showed, right? That point oh seven extrapolated to a point one eight second faster quarter mile time. But that's not what we see here, right? The results we have here are, let's use the rollout numbers here, 0 to 60, 0.42 seconds faster, quarter mile, 0.42 seconds faster. Got to that 0 to 60, 0.42 seconds faster, good performance boost there. The remainder of the time, no more performance boost, right? We go right back to, uh, you know, our, our standard levels of performance for the rest of the trip. We end up with the rest of the trip, what? 0.42 seconds faster. So what do we get? We get exactly what they told us we're going to get. A performance boost, 0 to 60. They uh, promised or 
advertised a half second faster, which is basically what we got. And that's it. They didn't say quarter mile times were going to be half a second faster. They didn't say horsepower was going to be greater. So that's exactly what we got. This is not a horsepower increase. This is a zero to 60 boost. Now, I had other thoughts on this. I had these same thoughts before comparing the performance uh, Model 3 versus what our car used to be. But I, I think it's the same thing. We just have a little more performance zero to 60. But anyway... Um, and I was, I, I have a video I'm, I'm trying to get together on that also. The Performance Model 3 basically is faster 0 to 60. And with the other data that I have, again, I want to get this other video up. From about 60 miles an hour on, I don't think they're, they have any more power than the normal Model 3 cars. And this is showing that. So they're giving us almost Model 3 performance level performance but not quite. So they're boosting that zero to 60 and nothing else happens after that. So, you know what? I, I, I mean, I, I can't say I'm not happy with, with what we got. We got exactly what they told us they're going to get us. They're going to give us, but it is not a horsepower increase. You know, don't be, um, don't make that mistake to think that we've got a full across the board power. They, they, they gave us what they gave us. So 2k, is that worth it? Well, let's look at what you get what you don't get. Well, we know what you get. What you don't get, you don't get full P-level performance. They're still doing 0 to 60 in the 320s, 330s, uh, maybe even 310s. I, I, I can't remember. I've seen some crazy numbers, right? That's faster. You don't get track mode. You don't get bigger brakes. You don't get the carbon fiber wing. You don't get 20-inch wheels and tires, and you don't get those little metallic pedal covers. Now, you can go out and get all this stuff on your own, and then don't forget, this is 2K. This whole package here for the performance uh, costs, I think, 8K now. So, you know, you're getting what you pay for. Now, I was really hoping to get full performance level performance, right, to turn this into a, a P3D. So, it didn't do that. So, if you've already got a performance car, you know, don't get all ticked off that, People are now as fast as you. They're not. We're not. These cars are not as fast as you. They don't get the track mode, the bigger brakes, and all this other cool stuff that uh, that the performance cars get. So, um, you know, I'm I'm happy. Uh, the car is running in the 11s now. I mean, what was it? Six weeks ago, I was excited that running 1220s is crazy. Running high 11s now is just getting, um, it's just getting more and more crazy. I really wonder what, uh, you know, what they're going to do next with just these cars. You know, we, we know it's coming. Um, I, I just saw that uh, they are looking that, you know, people are, are getting, looking at the code. They are seeing uh, 100 kilowatt batteries. We have the 75 kilowatt batteries. They're looking at 100 kilowatt battery potential in the code for these cars. And, you know, what, adding a ludicrous mode to something like that? Smaller car, less weight, uh, bigger batteries. I mean, you're talking it's going to be faster than the Model S, not the Plaid. You know, they're coming out with the Plaid. But um, but that's a, it's a whole separate Model 3, right? We can't get that. with, with so The software is not going to add battery power. So... Anyway, um, I'm happy. Had a lot of fun doing this. Guys, uh, please subscribe. All right. You never remember what you're going to see. And um, I would appreciate it. Okay.